Okay, this question is just te just testing you on your understanding of the scientific method. And so it's really just getting you to look at to get some vocabulary words and get those vocabulary words inputted into the correct links. So let's take a look. In the scientific method, a blank is a tentative interpretation or an initial explanation. Well, a tentative interpretation or an initial explanation is a hypothesis. And so that's what goes there in that blank. Okay, and this tentative interpretation, this initial ex explanation suggests the explanation suggests experiments which will yield what? And so what do experiments yield? You could say data, you could say results, but really what we want you to get to is the idea that data and results and experiments are uh, yield observations. This is, the, I think, the best word to include in that particular blank. So a hypothesis is a tentative interpretation, and you can test that tentative interpretation. That's the point of a hypothesis, is that it's testable. And then in that testing, that experiment that you do, you can make observations. And so after you do some experimentation, you may be able to make a brief statement that will only predict future events. Now, this gets into the difference between a theory and a law. Now, in both cases, you've done some experimentation, you've got some observations, you've compared the observations to your hypothesis, and you've revised your hypothesis as needed, and you've done more experimentation. So if you continue to go through this process, it's cyclic. Uh, hypothesis, initial explanation, initial explanation, it then suggest uh, experiments, experiments yield observations, observations allow you to refine your hypothesis, refinement of the hypothesis uh, suggests experiments, experiments get you more observations over and over and over again. Once you've done that, you may be able to get enough data, enough experiential evidence, enough, ex enough observations from experiment, that you may be able to predict future events. And if you can just predict future events, but maybe not explain them, then you've got a law. A scientific law is predictive, but it's not expl explanatory. Now, if you do enough testing and scrutiny, you can have a well-supported explanation of a phenomenon. And this is the difference between law and theory. A well-supported explanation that also predicts is called a theory, right? And so this is the difference between uh, the law of gravity, right? We know that uh, objects attract each other. We can predict that future interaction, but we have no idea how to explain it. Um, there are things, the theory of um, evolution can predict that as humans and other animals uh, are interact with the environment that they'll change and maybe we can predict the way that they'll change based on that interaction. Uh, and it also explains you know, why we see differences in fossil record and uh, uh, the explanation offers some insight into the data and the observations that we make. And so that's the difference between law and theory.